Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the second edition of Cooking with the Microwave. I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to show you how we can bake a cake in actually nine or ten minutes. But uh, what I, because we don't have this long on, on camera, what I'm going to do is tell you what I've done was, <clears throat> I've prepared a, uh, a mix here. Uh, and this cake mix, I bought this, it's the best choice, it was a lemon cake that I'm making, and this was only 98 cents, so why would I want to spend two dollars and something for a cake mix? So every cake mix that I, I buy that is commercial, because I don't always use a pre-cooked, a pre-boxed pre, pre cake mix, I sometimes do my own, but in this case, for this purpose, I'm using a boxed cake mix, and I put in, because it's lemon, the cake that I'm making, I put in a lemon jello pudding. And I've added that to the dry. And what I do is, <clears throat> I always line my cake dishes with, uh, with the same dry ingredients before I add the wet ingredients to the cake. And so I, uh, I use butter to, line, to um, grease my pan, and then I take the same dry ingredients to powder it. Okay, then I don't have that caked finish on the outside of the cake when I take it out of the cake. Now, for the purpose that we're doing, I'm making small ones so you can watch it cake. You can actually see it cook during the microwave. It takes about three minutes to make a cake like this. I've already done one for you. This is what happened. This is what I can take this out when it cools. It's not cool yet. And you're going to have a delicious cake. And ordinarily, I would put this whole bowl in there. And this bowl uh, would fill up. But it takes, as I said, it depends on how much oil you add to the cake and how much liquid you add to the cake whether it takes 9, 10, 12, or 13. I've never had a, a cake take me longer than uh, 13 minutes. So now I'm going to beat this up a little bit before I spray it in here. I want to get air, air into it. And please, uh, if you're watching, uh, don't answer your phone because that's my phone. We put that in for uh, sound effect. And, uh, I like to work the bowl myself rather than have to sit on there. Okay, now we're okay. Now you're going to see myself. I'm going to take and I'm going to spoon this till it's about half full. Okay? Okay? Depending on uh, whether you're an optimist or a pessimist, it could be half full or half empty. But at any rate, <clears throat> this um, will cook three minutes. Okay? This is a lemon cake that I'm making. You can see what I'm doing. Okay? Okay, I have two microwaves that I'm working with, so ordinarily, as I said, I would make one cake and, uh, and then I would cut it and, uh, and uh, in two and put the frosting and the filling in between. All right? Okay. It's more than enough. Wipe the sides of the bowl. And now I'm going to put it into the microwave. Watch me. See, I'll put it in here. Set it in here. Now this has been greased and powdered. We got two microwaves, and uh, now the uh, I'm going to turn them on. And now that they've finished cooking, I'm going to uh, get uh, three plates, and um, I'll dump them out so you can see exactly what we're looking at. And here we have one from this. Uh, microwave right here and remember even though uh, they've been in there and there's no heat these are hot okay <clears throat> but yet now uh, I'm going to um, take this when this has been cooling and uh, show you you take the uh, the spatula you know, unfortunately, the time here is, is very limited. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this 
on each end. Now I had put chocolate in this one. And see now how loose that is and how easy that comes up. See, and then simply take and dump it out. And we have a little cake. Look at that. Look at that. And all you gotta do, and the other ones are the same. You see, all you gotta do is take, cut it like this, cut it like this. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Delicious. And all it took was three minutes. My goodness. Now, I want to add one more thing that to this one while they're hot. Mm, I'm going to poke some holes here. Poke some holes in these suckers here. Mmm. Delicious. Why on earth would you want to cook a cake for 30 minutes when you don't have enough? I had made a liquid here from powdered sugar and some lemon juice and I'm going to just kind of spread this on top and let this soak in while the cakes are cooling and like I did with this one. The only difference is with this one I also, before I cooked it, when the cake was raw, before I put it into the oven, I took a, a few handful of these and I sprinkled them around on top and as you can see it kind of left a chocolatey uh, insert. Good job. It's good. It's very simple, very easy. Again, what I like to do also is use this bowl to cook a whole cake in. And the reason for it, you see the shape of it. And when you dump it out, you've got this dome look. And I'll cut it into two layers, fill it with any kind of a pudding that I'd like to, and um, Sometimes I'll frost each layer differently so you have a three-colored cake. I've even made a, a little miniature a congratulations cake. You could almost make a wedding, wedding cake like this. It's very simple, but you could make a wonderful wedding cake with this. And, um, and all you do when it's cooked, you just put it out like this, turn it upside down, and slice it into three sections. Put pudding in between each section and then frost it. And a lot of times I've mixed um, sour cream with a, with a little bit of color or whatever, and I frosted the entire cake with frosting, uh, with the sour cream, but I did that when I was about to serve it. I would not recommend that unless you're going to serve it right away, but I would say within the next 30 minutes. Okay? Thank you very much. This concludes uh, part two of cooking with the microwave, only this time it was cake. Next time, next time I will show you how to cook cookies with a microwave. Basically the same procedure. Thank you very much. This is Robert Mee from the Uptown Experience, cooking with the microwave.